the different options that you have available to you. Now, you don't have to take any of them. What we're trying to do here is just give you more tools for your trading arsenal. Okay, that's ultimately what we're doing in all of these webinars. So we give you some ideas. You can then take them away and decide for yourself whether or not it's right for you, um, whether you can fit it into your particular trading regime or, you know, if it makes no sense, that's perfectly fine too. Okay. So before we move any further, though, we just need to get the, the normal disclaimer stuff out of the way. And that has to say that the content of this webinar is not for investment advice and it's used purely for educational purposes only. And ultimately, all of the everybody here watching today, you still need to seek your own counsel. You need to go away and make your own decisions, OK, because spread betting or FX trading carries a high level of risk. All right. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Alex Song. I'm the co-founder of a website called Traders Corner, www.traderscorner-online.com. I've been trading the FX markets. I've traded with my brother since uh, 2005, so that's going on, what, nearly nine years now, eight, nine years. Uh, we've co-authored a number of articles for both FX Street and a number of other people. We've also created... Uh, different manuals, video courses, all of that kind of good stuff. So ultimately, you know, we're traders first, but we also do enjoy contributing to our little financial community of retail traders out there. And that's how we do that. You can find us on Facebook, which is Facebook forward slash Traders Corner online, or you can follow me on Twitter if you like. All right. So let's have a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about our our system, our price action system, entries and exits, as I said to you just now. So what is the system? Well, the way that we trade, we trade a swing trading system. OK, so we take trade in the direction of the trend. We don't try and ride the trend forever and ever and ever. That's not something that, that we like doing. And the reason for that is... Trend followers, although they're highly successful, they take they have or they have a very, very bad win loss ratio. So they may be right, let's say, I don't know, 30 percent of the time, 40 percent of the time. But those 30 or 40 percent of the time more than makes up for the rest of the time that they're wrong. However, for us, that's not the style of trading that we like. We prefer to um we prefer to be right more sort of 60, 70, 80 percent of the time, even if it means we're taking less out of the market. So all of the systems that we teach are swing trading systems, are systems that suit our personality. And the reason for that is that obviously we wouldn't teach you guys something that we're not willing to do ourselves or something that we don't trade ourselves. And ultimately, we fundamentally believe in swing trading. Um, hence, all of the systems that you'll see from us and all of the approaches and methodologies are of that sort of vein. OK, so it's trading in the direction of the major trend. We're entering on the pullbacks. All right. So as I just said, we're not looking to take um, massive, massive chunks of the trend. We're just looking to enter when the market starts to pull back, when it starts to consolidate a little bit. And then when it gets ready to move in the direction of the trend, that's when we're we're looking to enter. We only take the best setups. And as you get more experience in trading, you'll understand this sentence a little bit better. But ultimately. All the setups in the markets are not created equal, right? So you will have trending markets, you will have pullbacks, but you will find that there are trending markets which are more harmonic, where everything seems to make more sense. We don't like to trade in the middle of consolidation. So even if, even if we've got a strong trend and then we get a pullback, but the pullback starts to turn a little bit choppy and starts to turn into consolidation, we prefer not to trade that. And the reason that we prefer not to trade that is that we feel like our edge is gone. OK, we like trading in harmonic markets because we can we have a better idea of what's going to happen next. Obviously, we can't say for sure, but it gives us a better idea. If we're trading in a consolidating market, we feel like that edge is completely out the window. So there's no point. And more, most importantly, what we're trading here can be applied on any time frame, any chart, um, any instrument, anywhere. This this particular system. This approach to trading is based on price action. And if it's based on price action, as long as you have a chart that moves somewhere, then ultimately you can trade it. So if you want to apply this to FX, wonderful. If you want to apply it to, you know, equities, commodities, no problem. You can do that on all of these. Is everybody okay so far with that? Does that make sense to everyone? 
Yeah? Okay. So, identifying the opportunity. Everything starts with that. Yep, it can apply to futures as well, Bob. Everything. Yeah, future choosers. <laughs> um, okay, identifying the opportunity. This is where everything begins, right? So what we're looking for is that we're looking for a trending market with harmonic swings. That means that for the most part, not all of them, but for the most part, if we're in an uptrend, every swing to the upside is breaking out to a new high. If we're in a downtrend, every swing to the downside or more or less every swing to the downside is making a lower low, and the price action looks harmonic. And I'll show you what, what I mean by that in a second. We're looking for levels of support or resistance that can potentially provide an entry point. All right, now, these support and resistance levels could be horizontal lines of support and resistance. They could be Fibonacci levels. They can be trend lines. They could be moving averages, okay, if they're dynamic levels of support or resistance. But ultimately... That what's important about trading is the location. You need to understand where you're trading. The reason that a lot of people fail is that they start trading in the middle of nowhere. So they don't have any reason to take the trade other than they have a signal to enter. Now, unfortunately, the signal to enter isn't quite good enough. You need to be taking the trade from a predefined level of support or resistance because then you know that that's a, that's a level that the rest of the market are looking at, which then makes a higher probability setup. Does that make sense? Do you guys follow that? So there are, there are many different ways to enter from a price action perspective, and we're going to talk about four in this particular webinar. The four ways to enter are something called a one, two, three reversal, which is one of my personal favorites. You can use candlestick patterns, um, and we're not going to, this isn't an encyclopedia to candlestick patterns. We're not going to go through all of Steve Nissen's work and all of that. We'll just talk about the few that make sense to us. Counter trend line breaks. So you all know what a trend line is. A counter trend line is a trend line of the pullback, okay, of the price acceptance. But we'll show you that in a minute. Or you could use a combination of all of those or, you know, kind of chop and change and add a few together. But we'll go through all of that as we continue through this webinar. So we'll start off by talking about a one, two, three reversal. Now, who here has heard about a one, two, three reversal? Anyone? Or ABC reversal? Maybe. <laughs> oh, the suspense is killing me. Um, okay, so one, two, three reversal. There's a couple of things that we need to know before I actually show you the one, two, three reversal. Generally, we trade by, we trade from two charts, okay? So you have a longer term chart, which identifies the trend and your support and resistance points where you want to enter. The long, I'll repeat that, the longer term chart is used to identify the trend and to identify where you would like to enter in the trend. So the support and resistance level that we just talked about just now should be identified on the longer term chart. So for example, my longer term chart may be the could be the daily chart. It could be the four hour chart. It really doesn't matter because then what we do, once you've found your longer term chart and you've defined the trend and you've defined your support and resistance levels and all of that kind of good stuff, you then jump down to a shorter term chart. And we like to go sort of like one order of magnitude lower. 